What's up guys? We're here today at Global Fish Co, one of the best fish stores in all of America. They have some crazy stuff. They have a $10,000 arowana in there. I'm gonna take you guys inside today and give you all a full tour and show you all some of the amazing fish they have. And we might even buy something. Let's head on inside real quick and see what they got. Also guys, we got Nate here. He's gonna be looking at some of the fish in here too, showing us some cool stuff. First, I wanna show you all some of the awesome stingrays that they have. So down here in this bottom tank right here, yes, we got some arowanas, but check out these stingrays. This is a super white cross black diamond stingray. Over here we got the albino stingray. Yes, these are freshwater, and I do believe that freshwater stingrays are 10 times prettier than saltwater. Over here, also a really rare fish. This is a tigerinus catfish, and then a little pleco in the back there. So this is kind of where their baby rays are. And then over here, guys, is just where all their fish are. I mean, there's so many tanks in here. There's other rooms back there that we're gonna take you all into. But I'm gonna take you all and show you all the rest of the stingrays because they're just so cool. Check out how cool these gars are. That's a marbled Florida gar right there. Um, platinum gar, definitely something they want to buy in the near future. We got regular alligator gar right there. This fish right here has been named one of the most aggressive predatory fish on earth. This thing will literally bite you and it can grow up to 14 foot long, which is super cool. We got a rip saw catfish down there. Also get massive, a couple plecos. But I mean, look at these gar, dude. Nate, which one's your favorite, bro? Um, Saying the rip saw catfish. And then over here, guys, we got the massive stingray palmer, all their adult stingrays are. Check out how cool this is. We got a marble Matoro right there. We got a Matoro, an albino pearl stingray, some other really cool morphs. Guys, just look how beautiful these guys are. And these orangish white ones right here, as you can see, they look a little bit different. These are albinos. And albinos actually used to cost upwards of $50,000 back in the early 2014s when they were first imported into the United States. Isn't that crazy, guys? You could have literally bought a Mercedes Benz or a freaking albino stingray back then. Now they're about $1,000 to $2,000 depending on the hybrid, but they're still super cool. And I definitely want one for the Fish King Warehouse. And then behind me here, guys, it just keeps on going. We got more stingrays, more monster fish. We got the world's largest growing freshwater fish back there. One of them, the Arapaima gigas, just hiding out back there. And then we got more stingrays. And guys, this is just the beginning. We got the peacock bass coming up. Check out how cool this guy is. Another peacock bass, little pikes down there, but they have so many more tanks. There's tanks back there, more tanks over here. So I wanna take you all around and show you all some of the awesome fish that they have besides the stingrays. So here at Global Fish Co, this is one of their newly added fish rooms. Look at how many tanks are in here. Stunning. We got the ostriches down here, guys. It's one of my favorite fish. They're so personal. Oh, they're coming up. And these aren't your just normal ostriches. These are some awesome chili red ostriches and lemon ostriches. We got our baby peacock bass right here. These guys are so cute. And then up here, we have all kinds of other amazing fish. And then right here, guys, check out how cool this is. We got some true dinosaurs. We got some bicher as well as some catfish that are just going nuts right now. Some big Oscars. In this tank behind me, if I buy this fish and take it home with me, I'll actually get arrested. Behind me here is a piranha. Now these guys may not look that vicious, but trust me, they have some crazy teeth. And then back here, we got some flower horn. As you can see, they got that big hump on their head, which is actually called a cock. That thing has a massive cock back there. We have one at home called Mega Mine that is a beast. But guys, I literally just can't get over how many tanks they have here and how much fish. They must have upwards of $500,000 worth of fish stock here, which is just absolutely insane. Isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I promise you guys, by the end of this video, I will show you all the $10,000 fish. It is absolutely insane. It is literally in a locked room. That way no one can go in there and steal this fish. It is worth that much. But first, I want to show you all a fish that you guys have probably never seen before. Check out how cool this is. So here it is, guys. This might not look much, but this is a lens catfish, one of the most expensive catfish species. And they are super sought after and really, really rare. They swim almost like a shark 24 seven, and they are really hard to bring in because they are really hard to ship because they do not do that well. But it is so cool to see one here today. Check out this guy. Wow, what a beautiful fish. Now I wanna take you all in the other room and show you all a fish that can actually kill you. Can you imagine your aquarium fish killing you? That would be a terrible day. But check this out right here up in this top tank. We have one of the most deadly freshwater fish on earth is an electric eel. Now these guys can produce over 600 volts of electricity. If you stick your hand in the tank there, I could honestly kill you. I'm not gonna try it. But yeah, I definitely wanna get one of these guys, but honestly, I value my life so much that I don't know if it's worth doing. This is literally just a massive glizzy. It's pretty crazy that if I stuck my hand in this tank, this fish could actually stop my heartbeat. And of course here at Global Fish Co, there's no shortage of arowanas. Look at all these little babies. They're just everywhere. 
arowanas on top of arowanas on top of arowanas. These are silver arowanas. They have some albino arowanas. All right, Nate, what you looking at? I am looking at Mr. Mabu, the Embu Puffer. This thing is a good two and a half feet long, maybe maybe two feet. That was a little generous there. But I actually just fed him some clams, so hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, and guys, for those of you all who don't know Nate, he was in our last video. Nate works with me. We own Monster Aquatic Fish together, um, and he lives up in here in New York. So we came up here to surprise him with a new aquarium. Yes. But we're also here to look at Mabu, the giant Mabu puffer. And this guy is sick. Holy smokes. Yo, Nate, come check this out, dude. For those of you all who don't know, Nate loves plecos. What do you think of that, dude? I'm absolutely obsessed with watermelon plecos, and if I had a bigger tank, I 100% would be buying this We one. gotta get Nate a bigger tank. We could set him up a five gallon tank, which is not big enough for this pleco. We would probably take up at least half the space in there. This might be my favorite fish of the entire store. This is a long fin and cherry bicher. This thing is so expensive but definitely a cool fish. 500 bucks, definitely worth it. And then actually we have one of these at home that's literally killed almost all my fish. This is a jelly catfish, one of the ugliest fish on earth, but super cool. And then over here to the right, this is an African lungfish, which you actually have one at home that is like 40 inches long, which is massive. But this guy is also a beast. Look at how ugly that face is. Golly, that's an ugly fish. These have to be one of my favorite fish. Baby Fajaca puffers. Talk about a cock. Look at the cock on this fish. We've got an even bigger cock over here. Look at the two cocks facing up towards each other. It's a cock fight. It's a cock fight. One of my favorite fish, but also one of the most slept on fish are these long nose gar. They get a lot bigger than this, but they kind of look like a pencil, which I think is super unique. These quarries have destroyed their tank, but look how beautiful they are. For those of you all who love planted tanks, these are definitely something that would be so sick in there. These are orange laser quarries. One of my favorites, and they also got the watermelon pleco in the back back there. And I'm sure as most of y'all know, I love monster fish. And in this tank behind me here, they have one of the prettiest Amazonian catfish in the entire world. Check out how cool this fish is. So right here hiding, we got a tiger shovel nose catfish. And this thing is a beast. It's not even full grown yet. These guys can get three to four foot long. They developed this beautiful tiger pattern along their fins that look absolutely insane. Let's see if we can get a better look at them down there. He's kind of hiding as you can see, but that's definitely one fish that I want to get for the monster pond very, very soon. Here he comes. Check that guy out. That has to be one of the most insane catfish on earth. I mean, look at that pattern. That's just beautiful. So as you guys saw earlier, Nate fell in love with a giant MBU puffer in there. The one that was like two foot long, but here's a baby MBU puffer. Dude, we gotta find a way to get you one of these one day. I know. Birthday's uh, coming up, guys. I need a 10,000 gallon tank. We'll Bigger have- than yours. 10,000 gallon. We'll have Nate's address linked below. That way you all can send him gifts for his birthday. Maybe get him a new tank. <laughs> Maybe get him one of these puffers. Look how cute this guy is. Definitely one of my favorite fish on the entire earth. And I know I've said that at least 20 times in this video, so just bear with me. So I've showed you all, almost all the fish here. I know you're probably wondering, Chase, what is the largest growing fish out of all these species? Well, come check this out. In these tubes right here, guys, there's a fish that gets over 600 pounds. It is the bumblebee grouper. These are actually brackish. They can handle both fresh and salt water. I'm gonna pop a picture up on the screen of what they look like. They're also called the Queensland grouper and they get massive. Out of all the fish here, guys, they're gonna be our largest growing fish. And definitely, if you get one for your aquarium, you better have a giant tank because they're gonna outgrow it very, very soon. They're amazing, but do need giant homes. It's time, guys. The moment that you guys have all been waiting for, I'm about to show you all a $10,000 aquarium fish. This is the most expensive aquarium fish that I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's check it out. Here it is, guys. This is a platinum arowana. Look at that fish. That is $10,000. Let me go down below in the comments if you think it's worth it. This thing is so rare. The only one that I've ever seen in my entire life. $10,000 fish in a fish store. And it's here at Global Fish Co in New Jersey. Wow. Also, I don't want to forget about these amazing discus in here. Look at these beautiful guys. I'm not a huge discus fan, but wow, these guys are breathtaking. I mean, it's just beautiful colors. The stripes are amazing. Down here, we got some more discus. Definitely one of the most beautiful freshwater fish on earth. It's lunchtime for all the stingrays. As you can see, they eat super cool. They kind of pounce on their prey and they trap it. That way nothing can get out. Here comes the arapaima. These guys are baby arapaima right there. The two green and black fish. Within a year, they'll be probably four foot long. As you can see, these little black rays right here are just going to town on these bloodworms and shrimp. 
I love watching these guys feed. All right, Nate, we're back up here in the front of the store and I wanna give you a challenge. I've showed everybody all the fish here. It's absolutely incredible. We got a ton of amazing species. But for you personally, if I gave you a million dollars to buy one fish though, for the rest of your life, what would you buy here? A million dollars. Well, I can tell you the first fish I was kind of on. Totally. My boy, Mr. Embu. Dude, that would be so worth it. $2,500, you could buy a lot of Mr. Embus, but you can only buy one fish though, so would it be worth it for him? 100%, he's my personal football. He's like your new baby. Let me know if you could only buy one fish for the rest of your life, what you would get here. It can either be in this store, it could be at another store, it could be a fish online that you see. Just let me know what fish that you would keep if you could only keep one fish for the rest of your life. Guys, it has been such a fun day here touring with Nate here at Global Fish Co. Shout out to Ryan for letting us come by, Anthony, Haley. The team here is so cool. I highly recommend you guys check them out. I'm going to have all the links below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.